Well, hello, writing classes. Mrs. Nelson uh, back again for those of you that are eighth graders. And for seventh graders, hi. Um, I already miss you guys, believe it or not. Um, it's kind of weird being here at home and, and not in the classroom like usual. Um, so those of you that might have missed my earlier video, this is my wonderful classroom at the moment. It's kind of my craft room slash home office slash gardening room. I like to do gardening stuff. Um, so you can see some of my wonderful plants like my cute little parsley over here. This is a dill plant. That's what they use to make pickles. Um, down here is cilantro and back there is some basil and some chives. So that's my office. Um, it's a little place I'm going to call home for now, or my classroom for now. Um, but anyway, here's some information just for you guys in writing. Um, I will be posting an attendance survey form. And if you didn't catch my earlier video, that form is going to be used to help me decide um, maybe the best times, like if we want to go live and get some help live, or if we just even want to see each other in video form because you miss all your classmates. Um, Filling out that survey is definitely going to help me um, so I know who's logging in when we're logging in um, to make those times uh, available to you. Um, in writing today, you're going to see a few links um, in the classroom. The assignment is called Assignment 316, Does Canceling Someone Help or Hurt? And we'll talk about what that means in a minute. Um, but there's three tasks. You're going to read the article. Um, that's a PDF form. It'll say article. Does canceling someone help or hurt? Then there's another document called canceled reasons. That's a Google Doc um, because you're not able to actually write the reasons on the original article. And then the third one is an organizer. Um, and that's where you're actually going to begin organizing your writing. Um, so I thought today I would go through the article with you and read that out loud with those of you that want to hear it read out loud. Unfortunately, I lost my assistant, Tiger. Tiger was here earlier, um, but he decided that it's time to take a nap, and he'll be probably be napping for the rest of the day. So, I don't know. I might have to dock his pay a little bit. Sorry you missed him. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back eventually, uh, sadly. Uh, I'm missing him right now, but, you know. It's nap time for kitties. Anyway, so if you don't need the article read out loud, you can probably pause it here or stop here. Um, if you do want it read out loud, hang tight. Um, you can pause it here until you get into the article so you can read along with me. And then I'm going to start reading. All right. Okay, guys. So the article's called Canceling. Does Canceling Someone Help or Hurt? And Isaiah says, I'm so sick of Jason making cruel comments and saying he's just joking. Lily wants us to cancel him. Let's cut him out of our lives and stop talking to him. Is that too extreme? What should I do? Samir says, let's cancel him. Listen, I know we've all been friends with Jason since kindergarten, but his jokes always make us feel bad about ourselves, don't they? There's no reason to hang out with someone like that. I think that by canceling Jason, we are taking care of ourselves. Other people think that, other people might think that's selfish, but I don't. Sometimes you have to put your feelings first. It doesn't matter that Jason is just joking when he says these things. The fact is his words hurt people. He needs to learn a lesson. How his words affect other people is more important than what he meant when he said them. I think is a good thing to hold people responsible for their actions and canceling Jason would send a message. If he wants to have friends, he needs to treat them with respect and kindness. All right, so now I'm done with page 28. Moving on to page 29, Shannon says, let's talk it out. Honestly, I think we're too quick to cancel people at this school. How does it help to cut people out of the group when they mess up? It just makes them feel alone, angry, and sad. That can lead to even worse behavior. If Jason doesn't have friends to keep him in check, why would he try to be nicer? I bet he'd just become a lonely bully. Canceling people can make us lonely too. If we shut out everybody who bothers us, we'll lose a lot of friends. If we ignore everyone we disagree with, we'll only be friends with people just like us. When that happens, we don't get the chance to learn from others. 
Instead of canceling Jason, let's try talking to him. We'll explain how he's made us feel. I think it's worth to giving him to give him a ch- I think it's worth it to give him a second chance because everybody makes mistakes. Those mistakes shouldn't cause a person to lose everything. All right. So what you're going to do at the bottom, it says, what should Isaiah and his friends do? Um, So it says, use evidence from Samir and Shannon's response to support their advice. Write the information on the lines below. So you're going to write three pieces of evidence or three strong reasons that Samir gave in his argument on page 27. And then on the right-hand side, you're gonna write three pieces of evidence um, that Shannon gives where she says, let's talk it out. So why would she say that? What are some of the examples that she gave? Um, So again, you cannot write on this document. Oops, I just went out of it. If you go into this PDF, it won't let you write on there. Um, Just scrolling down. It won't let you write on this part. So you're going to have to go back into Google Classroom and you're going to go in, you know, what out so easy before. There you go. So you have to go back in and you'll get the actual thing here. It's called Canceled Reasons and that's a Google Doc that you'll actually be able to write on. I made a little table for you to type in. And then there's one other document for you um, when you go in. Close, close, close. It doesn't want to close. There it goes. And there's an organizer, and you'll fill up that organizer down there, and you'll fill in what you got to do today. All right. Um, so if there are any questions, I will be available on Google Classroom to help you out. Um, I'll be posting more videos as time goes on, and hopefully I'll get better at making videos because I'm sure these videos are probably not the best YouTube videos you've ever seen. Um, but you know, I'm doing my best for now. I guess we're all in this learning together. So um, hang tight, guys. I'm looking forward to talking to you in classroom. And maybe we'll play around with um, some form of live chat, maybe today, maybe later this week. And, you know, if you have any questions, you can ask me live. All right. All right, guys. Good luck. Um, Ask for help if you need it. We're here for you. All right. Bye.